Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Ramoliotis, aka PD Beats. Hello and welcome to the Pop Turnative Podcast, the podcast and talk show where we have digital discussions in the worlds of TV, film, pop culture, social media, sports, everything really, depending on the guests, we talk about it all. As always, I'm your host, Peter Ramoliotis. On social media, you know me as PD Beats, my guest is an actor who stars on the upcoming Netflix series, which drops very, very soon, called Away. We are with Adam Irigoyen. Adam, welcome to Pop Turnative, man. Thanks for having me, man. So happy to be here. Yeah, no, absolutely. It's kind of a little bit like the calm before the storm, right? Like the show is not out yet, but you can kind of feel it. Yeah, no, it's it's definitely uh, it's definitely getting close, and I've just kind of as it's been getting closer. I've, I've been feeling more and more just like the excitement, um, you know, on my end. And, and hopefully that excitement uh, is, you know, resonating with everybody else as well. Absolutely. Um, before we kind of get into a way, for you specifically, Adam, storytelling, acting, performing, when did that kind of all start for you? Yeah, I mean, fairly young. I knew I wanted to be an actor when I was eight. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, you know, and I told my parents uh, and... For them, you know, when you when you have an eight year old telling you uh, that they know what they want to do for the rest of their life, it's kind of like you know maybe maybe not taken so seriously. Um, but I, I hounded them for like two years, and uh, and then they finally put me in an acting class, and uh, and which had led me going out to LA. But originally, my my love for film and acting came from uh, just watching movie after movie with my dad. And uh, he kind of like put me on to all these amazing movies. And, and I, I just kind of fell in love with that. Like you said, the, the art of storytelling. Absolutely. Um, being so young for me, I would watch Disney Channel a lot. And, and that was something for me that made it accessible. It made it uh, attainable. We're going to get to that in a little bit. Don't worry. We're yeah. going to get to the Disney Channel in a little bit. But we're not talking about that right now. We're talking about Away, um, which is it's pretty cool because... You know, um, it's a very interesting time right now. And it's a time where, you know, a way is kind of dropping kind of at the end. Like people aren't really in quarantine right now, but there's still a pandemic going on. But a lot of shows kind of dropped during kind of the pandemic and a lot of people were watching them. People are still kind of watching shows right now. And I feel like it's kind of like, the la- the next six months, these shows like a way is gonna be part of that are gonna be kind of considered like the the pandemic shows. Have you ever thought about that a little bit? I mean, I'm thinking about it now. Uh, <laughs> I, I yeah, it's 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 funny, you know. It's the thing about it is, it's crazy how sometimes you know art imitates life, even when it doesn't mean to. And you know, we finished filming the show back in February. Uh, you know, pr- before a month before COVID really hit. Oh wow! And uh. And yeah, and, and so now for the show to come out, I just think it's, at least, you know, around this time. And like you said, for it to be one of these, you know, pandemic shows, uh, I think it's just going to be so interesting because I feel like everything going on in the world today is going to make this show that much more relatable. You know, the idea of being away from loved ones, uh, you know, having to having to separate yourself uh, is is is, you know, is something very apparent in today's world. Absolutely. Can you kind of um, go into a little bit of detail about about the show, like what people can expect and about your character a little bit, Adam? Yeah, of course. So uh, the show is uh, follows Hillary Swank, who plays Emma Green, and uh, her and, and this group of astronauts who go on the first manned mission to Mars. Um, and like I was saying, that sh- the, the, the show, the story is pushed forward uh, by the relationships, so the relationships between their astronauts. You know, each episode you get to to kind of further uh, delve into their lives, the the relationships that they're leaving back home, uh, you know, namely Emma's family back home, uh, her husband and, and her daughter. And um, that's kind of where I come in. I, I play Isaac Rodriguez, who Alexis, um, the, uh, Emma's daughter on the show, um, who she meets fairly quickly after her mom kind of goes off on this you know three year journey. And her life is is really kind of turned around. You know, her mom's left. Her dad now has this, uh, you know, life changing diagnosis. Yeah. So so it's a lot. It's a lot going on. And and she meets me, and I I kind of take on the the role of, 
you know, kind of her, her coping mechanism. I'm, I'm her, her kind of escape, if you will. Yeah. Absolutely. And, um, and yeah, and, and that, you know, pushes our relationship forward and, and, uh, you know, we, we kind of go through ups and downs, but, uh, but it, it, it's a really beautiful story to watch. It sounds, based on how kind of you just described it and the situation with your character, Adam, it kind of sounds like this is a show about kind of, like, about real people who go through real kind of circumstances in life. Is it safe to say that's kind of a trend with a lot of the storytelling that's going on? People want to see things that they can obviously relate to. Oh, yeah. I mean, I think that, you know, that with all storytelling, there, okay. there's something about being able to watch something on screen that you that you feel close to, that you relate to. And I think that that's so present in this, you know, I mean, uh, you know, on its surface, this show, you know, might be a, a, a sci-fi adventure. Um, but I, I think that this journey to Mars is, you know, it, it means so much to the audience by the end of it because of how invested you are in these characters. Mm -hmm. No, absolutely. So... We talked about a way. Now we're going to talk about something else for a little bit right now. <laughs> we're gonna, you played Deuce on Shake It Up on Disney Channel. Yes, sir. Now, my question is not the typical cliche of what was it like. You know what I mean? But right, right. I'm going to be a little bit deep on you right now. You know what okay, I mean? Okay, I'm um, ready. I'm just I'm going to get it. So I just want to know because, you know, a lot of actors, you know, you start at a young age, you want to do it. You said you were eight years old, you kind of wanted to be an actor, right? You get this show, you're very young, you're balancing kind of call times, real life and everything and you're on Disney Channel and that's kind of like at one point the goal for a young actor a young storyteller to be on a show on Disney Channel Nickelodeon like everyone wants that you know what I mean yeah of course. what is the mindset for you specifically when you're on that show is it a this is a stepping stone this is an opportunity where I can kind of learn the craft a little bit this is an opportunity where I'm getting used to it at a young age on a big scale b is it wow, like, I have to treat this like I'm, you know, I've been doing this for 10, 15 years because this is Disney Channel, this is a big deal. Or is it a bit of both? Is it C? Is it kind of like, you know, the stepping stone, but it's also a big deal, you know what I mean? Because it's one of the first things a lot of these you work on, right? Yeah, I mean, I, I would definitely say it's a little of both. I mean, yeah. in, at least it was for me, uh, you know, because when I got there, like, like, like I, you know, I, I touched on before, Disney Channel for me was something that was a dream. Uh, and it, it was, you know, I loved watching the show. So, hey, sorry. I have like two dogs over here. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I, I, uh, I uh, you know, for me, it was, it was something that like I always wanted to do. Yeah. Uh, and so when I, when I got to that level, when I got to be on Shake It Up, it was like a dream come true. But, you know, then it's like, hey, you're also here to work, you know, and you also now have people that, are depending on you that, um, you know, for you to show up and, and be professional. Yep. And, uh, you know, that's, it's a lot when you're it 12 is. years old. Uh, and, uh, but I was, you know, the good thing is, is I had a really, uh, good foundation. I, I had a really good, uh, I still have a really good family, you know, and, and that, uh, that guided me and still guide me and, and kind of really kept things in perspective for me. Uh, and for me, like I was, like I was mentioning to you, you know, what I fell in love with was film. I yeah. fell in love with storytelling. Yeah. So the fact that I got on Disney Channel, I couldn't have been more elated. But I, you know, I knew that I was like, okay, this is just step one. I'm, I, my career is only starting. And, you know, I got to do everything that I can to make sure that, you know, I, I take, I, I absorb as much as possible yeah. from this experience to then take on to my next. And, yeah, and no, for you know, sure. I think, I think I did, you know, somewhat an all right job. I mean, shake it. We talk about like crops of shows, right? Like we said, like the quarantine shows. I mean, let's be honest, right? Like shake it up was part of that kind of Mecca Disney channel early mid to like, like the mid two thousands, late two thousands kind of, crop of really popular shows right like you had the shake it up the had him on tad the sweet love is that cody like it was part of that you know what i mean it was yeah, a big deal. yeah which, is, which is exciting for me because like those are the shows that i watch and so like when i look back on it and when people talk to me about it um shake it up had a very you know, big following man it did yeah <laughs> yeah it, it, listen it, it was like i said it was a time of my life it was a dream come true and and for it to be a part of that crop of shows 
um, listen, I, I'm just, you know, I'm just blessed and, and happy that I got to be a part of something so special. Absolutely. Two more kind of, um, kind of hallmark questions I kind of asked on the show. One is something I've kind of noticed right now. Um, I'm noticing that there's certain genres and certain types of content right now that I think are, is really hot right now. Um, and is actually becoming kind of like main, more like mainstream and more popular than it used to be. And I find like geek and nerd culture and the horror culture. Do you kind of, have you kind of noticed those kind of like, it's not main, it's mainstream now. You know what I mean? Geek, oh, yeah. nerd culture, superheroes. Like it's crazy to think about that. Yeah. I mean, like, listen, for me, I, I've always been a part of that geek nerd culture. I have, that's just like at my core. Uh, so, you know, for the, the fact that that's like, you know, it's been coming up, you know, for a while now. And I think it's like really starting to just show itself more. Absolutely. Um, and, uh, and I mean, I love that. I, I, I love every bit of that stuff. Like, you know, umbrella Academy, I don't think oh. could have been made 10 years ago. The boys. Uh, the, yeah. The boy, you know, I, I don't think stuff like that could have been made and, you know, been as successful, uh, in into in in that world but you know we we live in a world today where you know people live for that and you know you have stuff like the boys like umbrella academy where you have these superhero characters who aren't so heroic or yeah. you know aren't so super you know what i mean for sure and you're you know you're an actor you're a storyteller but you also are you you like you know act in dramas and you know that type of thing but you're also a big fan, like you said, of the nerd of the geek culture. I'm a really big fan, and that's why I started Pop Alternative, of, like, the crossover. Like, you know, you mentioned Umbrella Academy. I mean, Umbrella Academy were graphic novels, you know, yeah. created by Gerard Way from one of my favorite bands, My Chemical Romance, right? I just yeah, love, yeah. like, music crosses over geek culture. Sports crosses over with comic books. Like, I just, I yeah. love that. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, it's awesome. I mean, I, Liz, I just hope that I can I can contribute to that crossover one of these days. Oh, absolutely. Let's yeah, let's let, yeah, let's get you let's get you on one of these shows. I mean, that would be that'd be great. Let's let's yeah. Uh, yeah, let's cast Adam in in, in 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 something. But I would also love to see you in a horror movie because I feel like I'm a big horror movie fan. And if you're not, regardless, if you're whether you're a fan or not of the genre, um, I feel like you have to real like. Have you noticed as an actor, Adam, like that it's a good time for that genre right now? Well, yeah, I think I think with when it came out yep. and uh, and then also, you know, when Jordan Peele started coming out with his movies, yep. I think that sort of revolutionized the genre uh, yep. before there was this sort of uh, stigma to the horror movie um, and that it the can gore, only really be. Yeah, yeah, it can only really be one thing. Uh, and and, you know, historically it. You know, it was, and and I'm not not saying that's a bad thing because I, I there's a bunch of horror movies that I love uh, from that time, but I think now they they become they've become a little more psychological and yeah. a little more um, you know character development. There's more things and, that could movie. scare people. I mean, the world as we've seen in the last is like very scary. You know yeah, what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's it's not just you know blood and guts that's gonna that's gonna freak people out right now. I want to see you in a horror movie. Let's make it happen. L let's... Listen, let's make it happen. You know, shout out to Jordan Peele. Uh, Blum, you know? Blumhouse. Let's 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 make yes. it happen. You know listen, what I mean? Jason, hit hit up Jason and uh, <laughs> and tell him Adam wants you know Adam wants in. <laughs> and another quick thing, I'm kind of noticing you are you know um, like even though you started on Shake It, like people know Adam Irigoyen from Shake It Up, right? So like they're gonna watch Away, and some people are gonna be like, "Oh, like that's Deuce," you know what I mean? But at the same time, even though you kind of had that start, you're you're some people can kind of you're you're a younger kind of storyteller, you know what I mean? You're 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 like um, working on some shows, but you're 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 young. You haven't been doing it as much as people that are in you know their forties, you know what I mean? Type thing. You're still learning every day. I find it interesting because. People are kind of looking up to you, but at the same time, you're also looking up the people. You're kind of like a middleman. Have you ever thought about that a little bit? Yeah, I mean, I think about it all the time because it's like, you know, I, I started off in Shake It Up and, you know, really professionally acting like maybe a year before. Yeah. So, so I've been doing this for 12 years and, you know, I'm 23. So it's kind of like I have this, you know you know relatively long career over a decade but you know i'm still 23 and so I, I still have so much ahead of me um and uh for me it's i, I i'm kind of i'm very aware of that 
And I know that there's really like a lot of people, first of all, that have been doing this longer than I have. Um, but, you know, also that I, I don't know everything, you know, there, there's still so much to learn. And that's really what I love. Uh, about you know the craft of acting if I can get on my soapbox here for a second is you know I just there's there's so much to dig into uh, there's there's always so much to kind of learn and and be challenged by and, yeah. and things like that and so you know this it's I've never I've never been bored doing this I, do, I don't think I ever will get bored um and, you're playing yeah. pretend for real you're playing pretend for real oh, yeah. like that's literally and, your job <laughs> and i'm getting paid like you know it's you're getting like, paid to like roll who's gonna like, role play so uh so yeah man i mean there, there's like like you said there's a lot of people that i look up to uh you know i'm not lost in the fact that there's some people uh you know that that see me and 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 see me and say you know that's kind of where i want to be and, yeah, and i'm so for grateful sure. for that but like the game has changed completely, man. The way films are, be the the way TV shows are being shot, you know what I mean. The way they're being written, like it's, it's just like it's a good time right now. Like the yeah, content the being world. made is cra is amazing, for sure. I mean, there, there's so much great things coming out, and like there's there, there's so much coming out everywhere. You know, between streaming, mm -hmm. you know, you you still have stuff coming out on network television. You have. Mm -hmm. You know the premium channels like HBO, Showtime, Game of yep. Thrones. You know things like that. Uh, it's just like the best time to to do what I do. <laughs> um, no, absolutely, man. Well, Adam, thank you so much for coming on Pop Turner, man. I really enjoyed this chat. Yeah, likewise, man. Thanks for having me. Everybody absolutely. So, um, away will be streaming on Netflix fairly shortly. Yeah, yeah, like in in like twelve hours or something <laughs> like that. Yikes. So they're going to be able to kind of watch that and um, they're and you know, gr a great cast. You know what I mean? I mean, Hillary Swank, Charles, Charles, like, like a great, a great cast. You know oh yeah. Mean? No, there's, there's so many talented people involved in this. And that's why for me, you know, kind of when I, when I got the opportunity, I, I really jumped at it. I wasn't going to, you know, Netflix show, Hillary Swank, Josh Charles, uh, you know, Jason Katniss. Yeah. It, it, really sells itself <laughs> absolutely and where can people follow you on social media to keep up to date with everything adam yeah so i'm on i'm on instagram and twitter and it's just uh my handle is just my name at adam Irigoyen. perfect well seriously congrats um with your career so far and all the best for away we're all excited to check it out man well thank you so much yeah and, and i hope uh, i hope everyone enjoys no absolutely well this has been pop alternative you can catch um adam in a way starring hillary swank and josh charles on netflix um youtube.com slash pop for previous episodes and until next time this is adam Irigoyen and pete beats signing off thank you for tuning in to pop alternative make sure to check out our past episodes of pop alternative on youtube be sure to like Pop Turnative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.